Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And today I want to go over the adjustments of the Beeman QB Chief rifle. Now I know I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, <clears throat> showing how to do it. And it's actually super simple. But first off, before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that it is an adjustable trigger. Um, a lot of channels out there on YouTube are putting out a lot of misinformation and I'm not going to call them out, but um, I can't stress enough how great of a trigger this is. Um, even the godfather of air guns, Tom Gaylord, uh, claimed it's a match grade trigger, and um, Beeman also claimed that it's a match grade trigger. So it's the same trigger as in the Umarex Gauntlet. It's the QB trigger. Um, everything's fully adjustable, pre-travel, over-travel, and the poundage. So um, let me show you. Okay, so first off, um, I'm going to set the gun up on a piece or roll of duct tape here and flip the safety. Try to flip it straight down. Hold it like that. Now take a screwdriver with a Phillips head because you're going to need it here in a second. Push down on that. That's your safety detent. Take a mallet or some type of hammer knock the safety out of the gun safety latch or switch okay so your safety is out you can't get the action out of the stock without taking the safety out of the gun okay now as stated take your Phillips head screwdriver There's a stock screw down in here. That's the only thing that holds the gun into the stock. Only thing that holds everything together. Now that you have the action out of the stock, here's the perfect view of what you can see of the trigger. Now you're going to loosen the panel of the side panel of the trigger off here, the trigger group. Now my trigger is already set for me. Each individual person is going to be different. Um, I believe Beeman claims in their manual that the trigger comes set from the factory at 3 pounds and 10 ounces. So another thing you're going to use is a micro screwdriver kit. These little micro screwdrivers are awesome. Um, they work wonders and you're going to need it for these small screws I'm about to show you. Pretty straightforward, easy adjustment. I mean, once you get it down, you can adjust it pretty quick. Sometimes this panel can be a pain because it's screwed in and pinned in. Okay. Alright, so here's your adjusting. Here's what happens. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in for you guys. So here's your trigger. This trigger right here. And then here's the sear engagement that releases the hammer. That's got the spring tension that punches the valve, releasing the air. So you can adjust the trigger without anything doing with the air. But uh, the thing is... I highly recommend doing this before you put air in the reservoir because it's going to be easier. For one thing, um, you're not going to be wasting air shooting it, and two, it's going to be pretty loud. So, um, But to start off, uh, this top screw is the pre-travel, which sets the trigger at the stage you want it at before it goes off. This set screw down here is the over-travel, which stops the trigger from um, being pulled anymore. And then the spring right here is the tension between the trigger um, poundage so like I said factory set at three pounds and ten ounces is what they claim um, I got this pretty loosened and then I got my set screw set for me so uh, usually you if you want a quick um, shot like I got um, pull the trigger no 
no actual creep and then it stops as soon as it's pulled gun goes off that's it there's no more pull so let me get a good view of the back of the gun here and show you what to adjust now I stated it'd be easier to adjust this without air in it but okay so those are your adjusting screws so to get the pre-travel set to where there hardly is any you want to screw the top screw in as much as possible and then to get the over travel screw set you want to have that following behind it and then here's your spring tension screw right there the biggest one of them all which you loosen it it'll lessen the poundage pull you tighten it down you'll add poundage to it and that's why they claim that this trigger is match grade and, and believe me it is it's an awesome trigger probably one of the best triggers I've ever had um, and that's saying everything firearms air rifles everything because it's so tunable to you however you want to shoot um, I got mine set up right now at about one and a half pounds and I tested that on my homemade um, shooting scale or trigger pull scale I don't have an actual um, lineman or anything like that but it breaks around one one and a half pounds so and that's off of a fishing scale so it's not exact but it's pretty low and it's pretty uh, quick and there's no um, like I said slack in the trigger or um, creep afterwards so I got it pretty much set for me and each individual person is going to be different so that's about it really um, like I said screwdriver Phillips bit and then pre uh, precision screwdriver set so you can get those tiny set screws set for however you want to shoot and it may take you a couple times. Um, I recommend leaving it out of the stock and then if you're going to set it with air in it, take it outside and pop it off a couple times to figure out how you want it. Um, you might want a little creep at first. That way you can get uh, used to the trigger being so light and then where it catches on the sear here. Because that's, that's one thing you can see. This is how I adjusted mine too off of the sear. So you can cock the gun. So you can see the sear engagement here. So I adjusted mine off that. So if you see that right there, that's pretty much without you could you could technically get it set without firing it. Um, but then again, you wouldn't get your you wouldn't get your over travel screw set from doing that. So you do have to fire it a couple times to get it set for you. So again, I just wanted to show. Um, how I would do it or how I did it and uh, I just did videos from uh, the QB 7879 rifles on YouTube because it's the same trigger group but everything else in this rifle is totally different so alright now you just basically put it back the way you uh, took it apart and that's about it really guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put this apart or back together and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as always and I hope you got something from it and again, for all those people out there saying that uh, it's a crappy trigger and non-adjustable, um, you guys just seen it firsthand here. You can tune it however you want, um, whether you want zero pre-travel, you know, slack in it, whatever. Um, and it, like I said, it already comes set from the factory at three pounds and ten ounces, so basically three and a half pounds. And it wasn't bad for factory, but I wanted to ultra tune for me. And everybody's different, so. When you have the adjustability like this gun, why not? Um, you paid for it, and once you adjust it, it's a totally new trigger, which, like I said, the first trigger, or the, the way it was set from factory, was not bad at all. There was just, you know, slack for me, so. Thanks again. I hope you got something from this video, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Appreciate it.